Welcome to Nosedive. Just the beta, ma'am. Just the beta. In this video, we're going to focus on just two sections of the climb. Getting past the first roof, which a lot of people have trouble with, and the final steep overhanging finger crack lieback section. Now that you've clipped the pin and are ready to begin moving up, there are two key holds you want to know about. The first is a finger pocket in the corner a little bit higher than the pin you just clipped. It's a small pocket and I use my pinky and ring finger. You'll have to see what works for you. You mainly use it to stabilize yourself as you reach up for an okay edge about 14 inches above the roof out on the face. These two holds let you work your feet up a little higher and then get a great hold in the corner with your right hand. Climb up, get yourself stabilized into a very comfortable stance and plug in some gear. Now let's skip forward until just before I launch up into the steep final section. I generally get in two bomber stoppers from the hands-free stance just before that section. I then step up into the position you see me here where I can get one last small but bomber stopper. There's a serviceable edge for my left hand and a little chip on the face just to the right of the last stopper that I placed. I then bring my right foot into an edge near the corner and my left foot up onto a ramp near my knee. Using my right hand for stability, I reach up high with my left hand for an awesome edge. I then use a small edge for my right hand to help stabilize myself while I get into a fairly comfortable stem that lets me reach up for an even better hold for my right hand. While not hands-free, this is actually a pretty comfortable stance, and if you wanted to, you could certainly get some gear in here. Move your left hand up to grab the large flake. The higher you get on it, the better it feels. Notice the chalked up edge just to the left of my left arm. Your objective is to lie back off the flake, walking your feet up and eventually getting your left foot on that edge and then rocking over it to get yourself stood up. We'll match hands on the flake and then keep working your hands higher until you can get them locked off in the crack above. Take your time to find a good finger lock and a stable stance and plug in some gear before the last couple of moves to the top. Take your time on this move because although it's not strenuous, it's awkward and off balance and you don't want to pitch off on the last move. And there you go, you've climbed a nosedive. Now it would really help me out if you could give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and or share this video. Happy cragging!